YouTube, IG. It's your boy, Shoe, Shoe World, man. Shoe World, this is Shoe Life. This segment here, man. Look at Fly trying to get on my shoe, man. Man, I had to, man. I had to. Um, man, I just been thinking, man. I said, man, this year here, man, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to dedicate this year into going back, getting shoes that I really like and love and just didn't 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 get them. I don't know for what reason why I didn't get them. Um, this all started in 2011. I really had an itch, man, and I really love 11s, man. That's my most coveted shoe. And um, 2011, I think the the Concours came out. Then in 12, the Breads, which is my one of my grails, the Breads, and then the Gammas. I started saying, let me jump in the shoe game. And then 2014. Uh, this shoe came out, man. Some call them the, the Columbia's. Uh, I like to refer to them as the legends, man. The 11 legends, man. Uh, this shoe here is one of the OG signature shoes that Jordan actually wore. But it was only three 11s. If people know their history, it's only three 11s that was ever worn by Jordan, man. And that was the, um, the Concord. And the breads and these. Now he only wore these in the playoffs. You know, some like to argue the fact that the Space Jams, he wore the Space Jams in a movie, true enough, but he never they was never released. So that's why I say, you know, as far as release, let me take that back. As far as release, these was released. And this was also the only pair. This is like when they stopped uh with the Columbia. They was coming out with North Carolina segments and I think when they came out with this they was like, I don't think they, I don't know if they thought, well, it can't get no better than this. So they really stopped after 11 putting putting Columbia colors, which were, you know, UNC colors back with them, uh, back with the with the colorway of the shoe. But I mean, man, this shoe here, man, you, I don't know if the, the camera's picking it up. I had to come back outside because I like the outside when you get that natural look. But man, this shoe here is flawless. And you can't beat that for a 20. I think this came out December the 20th, uh, 2014. You can't beat that for a three-year-old shoe. I mean, and and everything's matching up, man. We got a, uh, came out of Foot Locker, man. And, and let me tell you another thing, man. I'm starting, I, I watch a lot of other YouTube guys, and they get a lot off of eBay. And I got this off of eBay, man. It took everything, but I got this. I paid about 50 over retail. And for me, that's a steal. I know y'all call steals when you get them uh, uh, under retail. A steal for me is if I can get it right around retail or more, especially a shoe like this, I'm winning. I'm winning to me. And uh, this is a foot action release 11. See how the number, let me show you how, let me show you how to tell. Foot locker, foot action, and I think champs, because I think they own they all own by Foot Locker. You can tell. You match the numbers up with the see that number right there? 41 uh, 41,000. 41, What's the rest of it? Four four six three zero four four. Everything matching up. This is a foot action. Shout out to my dude, man. I think I got another subscriber now when I got these. Dude came out of Houston. These came out the Northwest Mall in Houston. And uh, you can't beat it. Then the last numbers on there, this will really get you right here. This right here, the last three numbers, 110. That means that was a size 11. Just something, you know, to make sure you don't get scammed out there because it's a lot of scammers out there, man. But, man, focus, focus. Focus on this great shoe. This shoe is white on white. I thought I seen a little discoloration, which you won't, because you know that it's real. But it's really not. It's a little, little yellow within, maybe. I don't know. But, man, look at this shoe. This is a great shoe, man. This is a great shoe. Factory laced. Factory laced, man. Look how, they, look how that white just popping out. Popping. Yeah, man. He only wore this in the All-Star game. Kind of sentimental. And the All-Star game was uh, February 1996 and set in tone. Uh, got a little bit more stuff to go in, coincide with this, man. I'll keep you posted. But, uh, yeah, 
man I, I i love this shoe man and like i say man i'm trying to get all the grails all the stuff not grails but stuff that i wish i would have cop but didn't cop but uh like i say this is the last 2000 this is the last um the last colorway they made for what well, now everything has unc colors in it but back in the day in 96 this was the last one they that they implemented the columbia the uh unc colors man but it's your boy Shug, man. Uh, new new subscribers, man. Thank y'all. Appreciate y'all, man. Appreciate y'all a bunch, man. Um, all you guys out there have been rocking with me. Appreciate the rock, man. And um, like I say, man, this is a lifestyle, man. This is not no fad or anything. This is a lifestyle. But uh, subscribe if you ain't subscribed, man. If it's your first time on here, man, welcome, man. I ain't got all the editing and all the crazy, all that, man. Just sibling playing, getting down to it. And showing you guys a great factory laced shoe. I mean, this is what I do, man. Passion, man. But it's your boy Suge, man. Comment if you ain't commented. Cop, like. I mean, did you cop these back in the day? Uh, uh, 2014 or not, man? Let me know. But it's your boy Suge, man. Shoe life. Peace.